up on the mountain. And some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need, to know, to, know. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess, as long as I'm there to witness the search. Fair enough. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Give yourself some time. You'll find your footing. Not at the rate I've been drinking. <laughs> And what would your sister have said about that? I know, you're right. I should expect more of myself. She always did. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. If fiends or bandits try to get past me, we'll have a fight. Mark my words. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. <laughs> Only the finest goods here. Keep Is she a Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. How long will a bud hide in his palace? Blood for blood. Vengeance for Ursa! How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Oh, haha. Huh, huh. And like if you're a bit Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh, that was subtle. <laughs> Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other the than the door. Afraid. All of this. For one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. It cost you a shard just to look. For the rest, and by next. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. Mm. We'll see about that. <laughs> Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. Call me the <laughs> Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage. Let's give it a little push. <laughs> How 
I did say not to break anything, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. Sorry. his wife and child captive they who's they the killers they told him to obey or they'd kill his family looks like Olin kept a journal Olin I knew he could read contracts but I never took him for a poet no doubt now Olin knew I was targeted A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Mag er anders hier? Nee. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus is the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yep. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Oh, the out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. Mm-hmm. Eerst even hier door de stad heen wandelen. Ik heb een allerlei quest, hè. Oh, hier konden we die uh, dingen in lift. Zeg. Oh nee, dit is wel wat anders. Ah, eens even kijken wat dat is. Ach, please. Oké, okay, oké. Okay. En gewoon die special dingen die ik niet hier. Kijk, kan verkopen. Weer upgrade of zo. Is dat zo'n kind of spice? 
You'll like what I have for sale. You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially like interested job. in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ban Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. You ready? Let's trade then. Mm, you have got them all. Come on back if you find any Banu goods. Excuse me, Outlander? I'm looking for... Oh. The Banuk artifacts. Only the finest goods here. Mm, it's left. Don't forget to stock up This isn't up to their usual standard. Into it, we need. Uh... Who is that? Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with- Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. Uh, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor. About a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. Uh -huh. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. <laughs> Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? <laughs> the Banuk women. Snow witches all. <laughs> cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. 
Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right. Butch. More of an opportunist. Uh, girl. Uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. <laughs> if it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. And I can't take a best payment on return. Take a look at these wares. We're the closest to the sun in Meridian. I've got all the best. You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their oh. own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Okay. What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flinthawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Okay. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. Fair enough. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes and the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different.
You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Oh. Nice and bright out. Uh. The peace fire is good, but will it lead to peace? Don't forget to stock up before. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the Lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior mm -hmm. members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sun Hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right, you're new here. What edict? King of Odd insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Okay. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Okay. Don't like. Even kijken, wij moesten naar boven toe. Don't 
don't care what other tribes do. Go for it. You ain't gonna bite. Bright day. Feeling ambitious. Yeah, but wanna enjoy your banana. Help us. The city's become too crowded. To live here. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering <laughs> and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Mm -hmm. Captain Ursa is dead. You're Talana? A C said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> Sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a Hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever Hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes the Sunhawk. Okay. Just in principe, as we then get more killer than. How does one become a Hawk? King. When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. <laughs> God, stalker. Yes, that, uh, yeah, I believe it well. That looked well. Was er al over nadenken van hoe de fuck ik best een stok kan killen. Moet ik wel zeggen dat die electricity bol truc straks of de vorige keer die werkte best goed, maar ook meer dat ik wist waar die zat. Ik heb al de beste goods hier. Kan je me helpen? Kan je een moment geven? Iemand heeft mijn... Je bent de een die de vanguard heeft been crowing about. 
The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen. All I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Karja may like this. The thief broke the lattice on the way out. Drops of blood bleeding away. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Did you like to buy something today? Which no, boy? I'm still on the trail. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah, almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way you'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. Een goed dag, Deloy. Lol, Bob klopt. Als het zwart aan ligt, is best goed. Het looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance. What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so 
I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find. Here's a fair. Collection. What's going on? Don't pass up these goods. Just to look. Is that really all you Back from the wilds. Find any Banuk relics. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. I'd like to resources boxes vessel collection. To discuss a trade with you, Outlander. Die komt een zorgboxje, oké. Okay. All right. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good, oh. but a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? Mm -hmm. They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. Mm. Which vessel coffee, I was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. Mm. Mm. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. What do my tired eyes see? A hunt. Even kijken, dus van Banuka heb ik niks om te treden. Ancient vessels heb ik allemaal de verkeerde. Er zijn inderdaad gewoon koffiemugs. Ik kan alleen nog planten zien te vinden. Kom, talk to me a moment. Would you like to buy something today? Ik wil daar kijken. Ik dwaal hier altijd in die stad. 
PlayStation al en nu is het niet anders. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theradine is sweeter still. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun. For he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. No, let's take off here what got it. Nee. Mm. Oh, cool. Till we meet again. My noble Nora, I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Take a look at these wares. Hmm. Is it just me, or do Karja people walk slow? Op schaats en doe ik even bosje terugkomen. Oké, dus volgens mij hebben we Meridian zo'n beetje gehad wat we moeten hebben. Zo wel. Eerst inderdaad met een dood. Eerst even naar die wolken mee gaan. Hm. Ook daar staat nog een tweede. Kept the wheel turning all day and by the forge I believe I've earned a drink or two. Ik ben hier. Ah. 
Ähm He doesn't let up. Well, neither do I. Oh. Mag ik als niet aan de handel trek ik maar. Gebied in de buurt. Hm, nog twee zijn. Ook maar meteen even oppakken. I'll have a place in the order of things. Don't pass up these goods. I've got all the best goods here. You like Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of Watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but... Well, Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Mm -hmm. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please. Be careful. Those machines are deadly. Okay. You'll like what I have for sale. I promise. Would you like to buy something today? These aren't goods. They're necessities. Take a look at these wares. Buy you will regret the not stopping here. when See you're in the thick of it. Metal pot here. Good prices. Fair prices. Take a look at these wares. Fairest nope. prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. <laughs> Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Uh... No market for a snap more lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. 
Kraft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap maw lens. Fine. Elevators. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap maw lens, what do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your metal. Scroungers? Don't you kick it. Brutes are you trying to attract? We will agree. I was the calling. You. Even kijken, hier hebben we sowieso nog een metal flower. Dit doen dan hier langs. Hier langs de kant in. Die ook nog mee pakken. Maar hier, daarin, daarin en dan daarin kan ook nog. Oh, hier zit ook nog van alles. Hm. Ik zal eerst hierin even kijken voor die Ravager te doen. Would you like to buy something today? Oh, pain in the butt war. Of a uh, stalker. Dat zou ik goed zeggen. The medicine pouch. Let's go. We'll have a manual save to do now. Meridian ontdekt te hebben. En gepraat te hebben. Dan moet ik even kijken hoe we daar boven komen. Saving these for the trail. Just like it.
En ik probeer de eerste hit. Oh, kut. Op de stok te krijgen. Nou, wat lucht het. Beter dan verwacht. Nou, eens even kijken of we hier nog ergens naar boven kunnen veilig. Nou, wel dat we dan hier kunnen. Bedankt aan het worden. Het zou fascinerend zijn als ze niet naar mij kijken. Urgent hier helemaal bovenop. Deze kant, een rivier die kant in. Wat medicine meenemen. Deze will keep. 